Hey guys, this is Tricker. I've been asked several times on my videos how I got external views when the server doesn't allow them. So today I'm going to show you how exactly I did that. This does require some time and patience and it does not always work. So please keep that in mind. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. So what we're going to do is bring up DCS, which I already have started. I'm going to bring up my file explorer. Go to C drive, users your username, saved games, CS open alpha for 2.1, tracks, you see I have a multiplayer track or a folder and a backup track file. I made this folder. I'll explain that in just a second. Click on multiplayer. Here's the track that we're gonna work with. So I'll copy that. I'll go back to backup track files and I'll paste it there just in case it comes corrupt. Go back to multiplayer. I'm going to rename this to, uh, we'll just call it like test. And we're going to change the track TRK to an MIZ. If I can type correctly today. So test dot MIZ. All right, so there it is, test dot MIZ. So we'll come back into DCS, go to mission editor. File, open, there's our test.miz. Bring this up, go to customize, mission options. And over here on the right, it's gonna say external views and this is not gonna be checked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a check mark there. And we're gonna come down and click all. So that way we can go to all of our aircraft that are on this track file we can go through an F2 to all of them on the external. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Save As, S.TRK for Track. Hit OK or Enter. It does take about 30 seconds or so to save this, so please be patient. So now that that is saved, we're going to go to File and Exit. Next we'll go to Replay. Here's our test.trk, so we'll bring it up. Okay, so now we're at the map screen, and what we're going to need to do is hit the pause break button. If you do not hit that button, you're going to be at this map button or map for a very long time. I just hit the pause break key. It does take several seconds for the next screen to pop up. All right, so now we're at our next screen, which is the briefing screen. We'll go ahead and click fly. Now that I selected fly, it's going to take probably about 20 or 30 seconds before things normalize. As you can see on the bottom right, there's a timer. And you can see the timer seconds are kind of off right now. So I'm just waiting for that to stabilize a little bit before I hit F2, go to another aircraft to look at the external view. It seems to be pretty stable now, so I'm going to go ahead and hit F2 to go to the first aircraft, which is a Huey. So F2 goes to all the different external views, obviously. But we'll focus on this uh, Su-25 here first. And the first thing we want to talk about is the uh, forward slash and star key on the numpad. Forward slash goes out, star goes in on the numpad. If you hit right control forward slash on the uh, numpad, it does the field of view change. And if you do right control star, it does a field of view change. Kind of like zooming in here a little bit. So now that we got those down, we'll go ahead and do the replay controls. There is no rewind. If you want to pause, you hit pause break, like I just did. Control Zulu fast forwards. I recommend not going more than times four. If you go anything after that, it's most likely going to corrupt the file, and that's why we made a backup. I just hit Control Zulu, and on the bottom right, it says times two. If I hit it again, it's times three, and if I hit it again, it's times four. If I hit Shift Zulu, it goes back to normal. Remember, there is no rewind. If you want to 
you missed some footage and you want to look at it again, you're going to have to bring up the track file again and start all over. So F1 does the player's cockpit. You can only view your cockpit, whatever aircraft you were flying at the time. F2 goes through all the other aircraft. F3 is a flyby. F4 is a predetermined camera. If you do left control F4, it does this view here from the behind. If I move the mouse left, it goes this way, and if I move it right, it goes this way. You can also use the uh, scroll button on the uh, mouse wheel here. Alright, so we'll talk about the uh, F10 map right now. Takes a little bit to load here, just because there's so much stuff going on right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Nellis on the blue uh, icon there, and I'm going to hit F11. Now that I hit F11, it goes to the center of the airport of Nellis. And if I scroll forward, it goes backwards. And if I scroll f uh, backwards on my mouse, it goes forward. And the further you, the more you keep doing it, the faster it goes. So to slow down right now, if I want to get a shot here, I just start moving my mouse wheel forward to slow down a little bit. And basically you can put this wherever you want. So if you want to get a view like right here. So I can hit F2 and there's my MiG-21. If I hit F11, there I am right there. So it keeps this uh, camera here. So let's say you have like a target that you're about to blow up. You can actually F11 and you can scroll all the way out to where the target is. So let's say like this vehicle is the target and you can leave this here and that way you can view your aircraft and then when you're about to blow something up you can hit F11 and it'll go to the uh, predetermined camera position if you will. The next button we're going to talk about is the delete key on the numpad. Let's say you're chasing a target so this F5 is chasing a 25 right now and I point at the 25 and I hit the delete key on the numpad. It's going to focus the camera on that target. As you can see, that's a, an example of the delete key, and I still have it going, so it's following that target. As I said, it's focusing the camera on that target. You can do it on weapons, you can do it on aircraft, helicopters, ground units, what have you. The other thing I forgot to mention is if you hit control Yankee twice, so control Yankee, control Yankee, it gets rid of the bar that's at the bottom of the screen. And if you hit control Yankee again, it puts the bar back. So if you want a full screen shot, just hit control Yankee twice and it gets rid of that full bar screen at the bottom. So it makes your shots look a lot better. So hopefully you guys like this video. We just went over the external views on a server that doesn't allow it and also the controls in the replay section of DCS. Please like and subscribe and also uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.